But, you know, he was saying, now may the God of, of hope fill you with all joy, all joy and peace in believing. And so it's amazing that he said that because a lot of times we struggle in our beliefs. We struggle in our beliefs. And the reason why I said that is because uh, I think we would affect more people if we didn't struggle in our beliefs. Um, you don't have to, <coughs> you, you don't have to convince nobody that you're black. You believe it wholeheartedly because you see it every day. <laughs> you know? You don't have to convince nobody that you are from the family that you are from because that's you. When you are sold out completely, when you are completely sold out to Christ in your belief system, nobody can shut you up. Matter of fact, you will pray that God will open up a door for you to minister to somebody. As a matter of fact, every conversation, you would, you would feel like this is a conversation for me to introduce you to my God. Because I am completely sold out. I am 100% sold out. So no matter what circle that I get into or, or, or what environment I am in, you know, everybody's going to know. Now, I, I'm, I, we don't have to be like John the Baptist and, and go into a business meeting and, and cry out, repent. Right. You know, that now, you know, we don't have to do that. But there are times when the Holy Spirit will set up for you to introduce somebody to, the, to, to our king. Or to even just talk about him in, in, in a general conversation. But the minute you shy away from that, then you have to check your belief system, whether you are 100% sold out. Are we 100% without a shadow of a doubt sold out for Christ? 